Hello everyone and welcome to today's video where I am going to be drawing more animals that you have recommended in my sketchbook. This all started all the way back in August of 2022 when I drew these animals and then it inspired me to create a whole bunch of different animals that you recommended to me. So we've got this full page spread here. It's got a whole bunch of variety of animals and different creatures that I drew in different colors and variations that you guys recommended to me. And then it also went on to another page spread which created even more animals and it gets harder and harder every time to come up with different creatures. But then we even have another page spread and this one is not complete but my hope is to change that today and completely fill out this entire page spread. We ended with the dragon and so I'm going to be adding five more animals to this page. So before I begin, like and subscribe and let's get drawing right here. The first animal of the day is going to be a koala thanks to all of these comments suggesting that I draw one and I actually haven't done one yet. I'm not sure why so let's change that. So the first thing that I'm going to do is start out the process the same as always with a nice little sketch to just map everything out and really tie it all together. It always is the hardest on the first animal because you kind of have to warm up in drawing and I never do. I just kind of jump straight in. So that's what I did for this one. Just jumped in with a sketch and now it's time to do the outlining. I'm just following the style that I've done for every single one of these animals in the past and I can definitely see a progress in how I've done the animals and the things have changed a little bit but I've mostly kept my process the same. I started out with my sketch and then I do my outline and now I'm going in with my colors. I like to start with the darker colors first, that way I can blend them out with a lighter marker. But I want this koala to look super fluffy, so I added in a lot of little dark stray pieces everywhere. That way when I add in the lighter pieces, it looks like it has some fur texture. So then I just colored in the whole koala with a light gray. And then after that, it was time to add in some more colors and features, like the little pink around his mouth and then some some darker elements as well. I just really want this koala to look like it has lots of layers of fur and then it was time to add in the details so I did the eyes. I did make this koala hugging a tree because I felt like it needed somewhere to place it. I usually don't add surroundings in these animal drawings but this one just needed it. And now it's time for my magical gel pen moment which really makes these drawings come to life. So I added in the gel pen into the eyes, into the nose. I feel like adding in the gel pen to the eyes really makes them come alive and here's how this first one turned out. It's super cute, but now it's time to fill this spot, which I am going to be filling with a hippopotamus, which is actually a very terrifying animal. I'm so scared of them. Have you ever seen the video of them just chomping the watermelon in one bite, just like absolutely crushing it? Apparently, too, they're very territorial, which like in my daily life it doesn't it doesn't really apply to me, but it's still a scary thought, you know. So I went ahead and sketched this one out. I feel like it kind of has Shrek ears which I thought was kind of funny and then after that it was time to do the outlines and they are very wrinkly and have a lot of lines so I really wanted to make sure that I captured them and I thought it would be cute to make the hippo kind of coming out above the water just to add in a little bit of detail so I added a little bit of surrounding to this one too and then it was time to start going in with my colors. I wanted to take a little bit of liberty with my colors on this one. Typically you just think of a hippopotamus as being a gray maybe you'd add a little bit of blue but I really wanted to add in some pinks and blues and purples to really try and make it extra dimensional and really pop out. So I just started in by adding in my pink and then I added in blues and then I filled all of the rest of the areas that were still white with gray. That way everything kind of got a little bit muted and wasn't too colorful, but that way you could still see all of those beautiful colors that I added in. And then I added in a deeper blue to just add in some extra depth and then made the water blue as well. And now it's time for the gel pen highlights. For this one, I obviously didn't want him to be furry, but I wanted him to look kind of textured and kind of porous and add in some little water highlights as well. And then this one was completed as well, and I actually think it turned out really well, even though hippopotamus are kind of really hard to draw. So then after that, it's time for the next animal, which is kind of a strange one, but we're going to be doing a caterpillar. This isn't an animal I would typically think to draw, but it actually 
actually might have turned out to be my favorite kind of shockingly because I was looking at reference pictures of caterpillars and they definitely gave me the ick for a good minute but then I got over it and continued drawing so what I did was just sketch it out and this one had a lot of little segments and detailed parts I really tried to take this one in pieces I added in its little hands and then just continued to outline everything and make sure that it looked correct and I feel like I didn't get the shape of it quite right I would like it to have been standing up a little bit more but I think this way filled the space well and then it was time to use my marker to add in a whole bunch of little black stripes because I felt like that would be a cute little touch and then it was time for the colors which I really enjoyed I got to use orange and I don't usually get to use such a fun color especially when drawing animals so that was really fun to get to add some orange into the stripes and then after I added the little tints of orange it was time to add in a bright green which was also a really fun color to get to use and so I just colored in the whole thing this kind of yellowy green and then I went ahead in and added in a bit of a darker green to add in some dimension which I think really made it look round and circular and brought it to life a little bit more and then it was time to add in the highlights which also just added in a little bit more of a dimension it made it look even better and here's how it turned out I think it's super cute even though it gave me the ick at one point I think it's cute now but we got to fill the remaining two spaces the animal up next is a cow thanks to all of these comments a lot of you guys wanted to see a cow which I think is just such a cute animal and such a cute idea I should have done it sooner but it's time now I decided to put it right in this space in between the bat and the deer and the koala and that's another interesting thing about drawing these animals is I kind of just put them anywhere on the page where I think that they fit and then later I'm having to fill in the space so it really helps me to practice my composition some pages turn out better than others in terms of space and what animals are on what page and it really also depends on what you guys are commenting and what you want to see but I think that this page turned out really well and I love how the colors turn out together in the end which you'll see later but for now we're working on this cow I sketched her out I added in some beautiful eyelashes because cows always have the prettiest eyelashes I'm not sure why I'm not sure what they're doing but it works for them so then I colored in the pink little nose and then it was time to add in some black I decided to not use a straight black everywhere I just used it to add in some colors and textures but then I had to use the darkest gray that I have because if I used black I would cover up all of my line art obviously but I think that it still worked and then I added in some cream to make the white parts of the cow also look extra fluffy then I added in my favorite part which is the white gel pen highlights I made the nose look extra wet and boopable and then after that I added in some highlights to the eyes and here's how that one turned out but now it's time to fill in the last space on this page which thanks to these two comments I mean you got a killer whale and a cow and the other one it said you know it's almost their birthday which was nine months ago so it's almost their birthday again I've been doing this series for a while but now it's finally time to do a killer whale only two people really mentioned this one but I felt like it would still be a really good fit for this page so I went ahead in and sketched it out and then it was time to do the outlines after that this one had a lot of unique shapes and details and it was really hard to get the angles right I wanted to make sure that you could see both fins I think I might have made the top fin a little too long but that's just if I'm being really picky I think it turns out really cute but after I sketched it out and outlined it it was time to go in with colors and I thought it would be fun to just make the killer whale purple instead of just all black just because I have so many other black things on this page I just wanted a little bit more pops of color so I felt like let's go a little bit out of the box and add in some purple so I just layered up all the colors next to each other and created kind of a gradient and then after that kind of did some shading with a light blended purple as well and then it was time to add in the highlights and I made it look like water was reflecting onto the whale and here's how this one turned out which is super cute as well and happy birthday to the commenter who commented this but here's the koala again the hippo the caterpillar that we did the cow and finally the killer whale and I think they all turn out so good comment down below which one of these five animals you like the best preferably in emoji form I love to see a good emoji moment but comment down below which one of the animals is your favorite and these are all of the animals that I have done so far now but please comment more suggestions down below that you'd like to see me draw because I know there's still obviously a lot more animals in the world and I love this series it's super good practice but here is this completed page now it looks so good and I love all of these animals that we added but again comment what other animals 
animals you'd like to see. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!